Dates are obviously really important when we're talking about history, but there's a few minor details that make it a little bit confusing if you never saw them before. So today I want to answer some frequently asked questions about dates, such as what's up with A, D, B, C, B, C, E, C, E? What do those all mean? What's that little C in front of a date? Is that the same thing as the B, C, C, E, A, D thing? If you've never heard of that, then watch this video. There's a number of different calendars out there, but the one used most commonly internationally and the one you're going to have to memorize in class is the Gregorian calendar. Now, it's also called the Western calendar or the Christian calendar, and it's named after Pope Gregory the 13th, who introduced the calendar in 1582. Because it's pretty difficult to decide when time started, Christians decided to use the birth of Jesus Christ as a reference point. So any year before Christ's birth is counting backwards and is marked with BC, before Christ, whereas the years after his birth are marked with AD. And no, AD does not stand for after death because it's his birth year, not his death year. And AD actually stands for Anno Domini, which is Latin for in the year of our Lord. So going from old to new, it would be 2 BC, 1 BC, AD 1, and then AD 2, and so on. Today, a more common notation that you'll see is BCE and BC instead of AD and BC. Now, this is actually the same exact calendar system, but the abbreviations are simply before Common Era and Common Era. So 50 BC refers to the same exact time period as 50 BCE, as does AD 50 refer to the same exact time period as 50 CE. It's a little bit confusing at first, but as soon as you realize they're the exact same thing, it's pretty straightforward. Now you probably noticed that I've been saying 80 and then a year number, whereas the other three I've been saying the year number and then the letters. If there's no notation, assume that it is in CE or AD, just like how you know that 2015 refers to the year that this video is made. However, you should always use BCE or BC to avoid confusion. Now, should you use BC and AD or BCE and CE? It's kind of up to you, unless your professor has a specification. Just choose one of them and stick with the system, otherwise that would be really confusing. Just don't change any direct quotes. And what about that little C or CA in front of a date? That's actually an abbreviation for the Latin word circa, which means approximate. When we don't know the exact date that something is created, we use circa as a notation. It just basically says, hey, we don't know when this was created, but according to our research, this is the time range that is our best guess. Finally, let's talk about centuries. How do you figure out what century we're in? Currently in 2015, we are in the 21st century. Now you might be thinking, hey, I know a century is a hundred years. That's pretty straightforward. We are within a hundred years of 2000. Why aren't we in the 20th century? Now here's the way you have to think about it. The very first century of CE refers to January 1st, 1 CE through December 31st, 100 CE. So January 1st, 101 CE is part of the second century, ending on December 31st, 200 CE. So always remember that the century is counting the 100 years before that number, not the 100 years after that number. The same thing applies to millennia. A millennium equals a thousand years. Currently, we're living in the third millennium CE, which started on January 1st, 2001, and will continue until December 31st, 3000. So do you remember December 31st, 1999, when everyone was freaking out and reporters were saying, it's the end of the millennium? Well, they were wrong because they were a year early. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. If you want to keep learning more art history, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. So today I want to answer some common questions such as what's that little C in front of a date? Or what is AD, BC, BCE, BCE, BCE mean? Now it's named after Pope Gregory the 13th who invented who introduced the calendar in 191852, 1582. So any year before Jesus is Jesus is <laughs>